have a big argument about a food eating competition. The big one says, I can eat twice as much as you because I'm twice the height. Let's go and find out. I can eat twice as much as you because I'm twice your height. I'm 10 centimetres tall. You're only 5 centimetres tall. Well, let's go and find out now, shall we? Let's get the food in. All right, let's bring it in now. Look, I'm eating loads and loads and loads. But you're not eating twice as much. No, I think I'm eating even more than twice as much. Oh, I really, really don't think so. We need to find out. So, so, let's take it to the lab. Let's go then. Let's go. Let's find out, shall we? All the way to the lab. I'm going to find out now. Would you look at this here? At the lab. Now we can find right out now how much is inside me. To the lab. How does lab help? Well, I'll tell you. What we're going to do is with our little dolls, we're going to put them on the lab. The height of the small one was five centimetres. The height of the big one is ten centimetres. So you can tell that the bigger one is how much bigger? Two. Two is a scale factor of two. Now, when this big boy here, he's a tiny boy, was eating his pasta, he managed to consume a hundred centimetres cube worth of pasta. Whereas when this vomited all his pasta out, he had eight hundred centimetres cube worth of pasta. But that doesn't make sense. Doesn't look like it does, does it? Because how much bigger is this? Eight. Eight times bigger. So why on earth is it eight times bigger? I don't know. We notice that this is cubed. Ooh. Ooh. So this here, eight, is too cubed. And that is why it does make sense. Oh, you make maths so enlightening. Thank you. Thank you guys.